The Fargo Five, I'm Conrad Fargo. We've got frequently asked questions. We are here with Josie Jurassic. Uh, where did my sheet go? Did I say that right? Sure. Now, Josie, <laughs> you are uh, with the Moorhead Parks and Recs. This is the Fargo Five. Okay. We could call it uh, the Moorhead Minute. Mm. It'd be a much shorter it would be a much shorter show, but everything is alliterative here. So mm -hmm. we've got our Fargo Five. We're going to the Frequently Asked Questions. Okay. So, I mean, you must know this from when you lived in Bismarck. Fargo's a famous city. Mm. It's not just Bismarck who turns their eye upon us. The whole world. Mm -hmm. I get listener mail from all around the country. Incredible. All around the country. People want to know. They want to know what the heck is going on in Fargo and Moorhead, mm -hmm. the, the sister city. Uh, they're just, you know, what... What is it like living there? They got lots of questions. The same questions that come up over and over and over again. And so I like to pick some that are kind of representative and see if we can answer them on the air. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Sounds great. Okay, so let's see what Josie seems to think uh, about Billy Smith's question. Billy Smith from New Orleans, L.A., which is Louisiana. Mm, Louisiana. Would be, yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I need. That's why I need you here. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Uh, I can't remember states. Uh, do the snow plows in Fargo double as ice cream trucks in the summer to keep residents' spirits up? That's a great idea. It's. A, it'd be a good. It'd be a money maker. Hasn't happened yet, but how would you know? I wouldn't. So it, it, there could be. be the there could be. <laughs> there could be a plow. It could be hiding underneath that ice cream truck. Yeah. Have you seen an ice cream truck? When's the last time you saw one? Uh, Midco Kids Fest. Really? Oh, yeah, because yeah, you go to all those. <laughs> I'm at events where every ice cream single trucks <laughs> are sometimes. Yeah. So you see the ice cream trucks. I do. But you've never seen a snowplow attached to them. Not at this time. Are you no. getting? Uh, are you getting excited to see snow? You've seen snowplows. Yeah. They have them in Bismarck too, right? They've got them everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere there's snow. Mm -hmm. They don't have them in Louisiana, I don't think. Probably not. Which is the problem. Mm -hmm. When it snows They're out there. Be ill equipped. They yeah. don't have that. They don't have heaters. You know, we make fun of it when they cancel school at, you know, 20 degrees, mm -hmm. but we don't have heat in the school. Yeah. So, and that's why they send all of these questions to ask us, mm -hmm. how do we adapt right. to life in the tundra? Yes. Well, I'll tell you, we put snow plows on our ice cream trucks. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Someday. Haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You haven't seen it. Working on it. Working on it. Ethan Thompson from Portland, Oregon asks... Oh, here's uh, this is going to be a good one. This one's tailor-made just for you. Are you good. ready? This is going to okay. be a good question. Good. From Portland, Oregon. Cool. Fun place. Uh, what is the local music scene like in Fargo? Are there venues for live performances? Oh, you, you sure got, are. There you go. Yeah. Run away with it. Yeah, well, there's the aquarium. That's a good spot. Uh -huh. There's Parachigo. Parachigo, where's that? That's uh, on First Ave, downtown here. Okay. Yeah. So are they all downtown? Well, the ones that I am really familiar with are downtown. I mean, we got the Fargo Dome. We got, I don't know, we got, we got all sorts of stuff. We've got music in parks. We've got the Farmer's Market at the MCOMF Center. There's music at that. There's the Red River Market. You know, there's music at that. There's lots of music oh, uh, in there's town. there's music all over the place. There's always things to do in this town. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, what's the last thing you saw at the Dome? I don't think I've... Well, actually, I saw a, a WWE yeah? event. Oh, wow. Thunderdome. Yes. That's the only event. Do you, like re do you like wrestling? Yeah, I like wrestling. I are you like familiar with Below Zero, Zero here in town? Have you ever been oh, to any of their events? I haven't been to a Below Zero event. Oh, okay. No. I'm very good friends with the owner of that, Nick nice. Stokey. Cool. Um, yeah, so you should definitely attend that. That's okay. very cool. He was actually previous guest to the show, oh, Nick nice. Stokey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, doing the Below Zero events. Cool. Yeah, so local music scene in Fargo. What's it like? Very big and cool. Our, oh, yeah, so our, good. Emily Miller from Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska asks, what are some options for day trips or weekend getaways near Fargo? Oh, boy. Do you ever go anywhere? Do you, mm -hmm. I mean, where do you go? Uh, I was out of town this weekend. I went to the House on the Rock in Wisconsin. What is even that? that? Very cool. What uh, is even that? It's this wild mad genius just started collecting a lot of stuff that yeah was really cool weird wisconsin house. that's like six hours away though oh it's farther than that yeah i mean to get to, <laughs> to, to the border is six hours mm -hmm. and then from there so how far did you have to drive uh it's like an hour out of madison 
So was the spot? total so trip from here to where you got to. Away. Well, I was in the cities. I was in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Uh-huh. And then I shimmied over with some friends to Wisconsin. That was like a four hour drive. I'm going to say. Yikes. Yeah. What can you do? I mean, that you is. You got to <laughs> get out. You got to get away. <laughs> I guess that's always my I- issue is so I hate to drive mm. and I like I got a friend who always wants me to go to Wapadin to go to the zoo there and that's like a whole hour away oh, I'm just not doing sure. it like there's nothing like if you're in Fargo and there's plenty to do in Fargo I feel but if you want to do something outside of Fargo you're driving like the next big city is Minneapolis which mm-hmm. is you know it's fine Colorado is what like 10 hours away you've been to colorado i have not been to colorado okay no. yeah i mean where do you go to get anywhere i guess you go to outside of madison and wisconsin nine mm. hours away mm. holy buckets okay yeah what can Wh- you do what can be done up next we've got mouse rat with their song five thousand candles in the wind you ever heard of mouse rat i am not you're not familiar with the band mouse rat not familiar with mouse rat well you are in for a treat as we listen to five thousand candles in the wind or it's subtitle bye bye little sebastian don't go nowhere mm. Parks and Rec reference. There we go. go. It's coming together. 